Hello guys, this is NickTube2010 and today I am doing a review on the first grade RX-78-2 Gundam. First of all, there really isn't much to say. It's actually one of the very first first grades kits from uh, 1999, which I apparently bought. I'm really attracted. I'm. I really like this box. Just the design on it. It looks kind of retro, like the original uh, gun plot kits from uh, 1980. Uh. But anyway, so let's get started with the review. For articulation, he has a tippy toes, and he can move it that far forward. He, from his knees, uh, bends kind of at a 90 degree angle, but yeah, that's ba basically it. With his, with his hips, he can move kind of with uh, something a little under a, a 45 degree angle from just having it straightly locked like this. So that means he could be kind of like a woodpecker. His waist has no articulation at all. It's uh, completely put to get, um, connected to the torso. His arms can uh, can bend somewhere between a 90 and a 45 degree angle, and can lock straight. His hands can twist at a 360 as much as you want, and hold on a sec. His shoulders, he can bend at 360 as much as you, if you want it. His beam savers are on a ball joint, ball joint here, and his head left. And right, he can bend at 360 as much as it. Oh crap! That's one concern I really have about the kit, is that because it's like, like it comes from sprues, which means it kind of has a soft plastic. He as any small object that on it, that's on him can uh, break a little easily, which is kind of which is kind of a load of crap. But anyways, detail, I'm really impressed by the detail. I mean, it looks almost like, I mean, it looks just like, almost like the perfect grade from night, from a year before, and he looks like, I mean, it looks like he's kind of modeled straight off of uh, the Gundam from the Journey to Jaburo video game, which really kind of sucks, because... Really, when it comes to comparing this first grade kit to a, well, let me move that first. But when you're kind of comparing a Gundam, a first grade kit, to any uh, mobile suits you have in uh, the Journey to Jaburo video game, it's really nothing different. I mean, it really seems just about the same, according to Teddy with Teeth in his on the review of uh, the same kit by Too Old for Toys. So, would I really recommend this kit? Probably if you like the uh, the original gun paws, because that's what it's kind of modeled off of. I mean, exact same, almost the exact same articulation this Gundam has with the original kit. And then from this angle, he looks kind of like he's stoned. But um, yeah, if you really like the original gun paw kits, the first grade kits are just about the same as it. You have to paint the kit. You, you have to put it together, not really gluing it, because it's more of a, has a snap fit fe feature. And, yeah. So if you're kind of a fan of the retro gun kits, this is really something I'd recommend for you. This is NickTube2010. I am out now.